Hello everyone, welcome in 11 CHE. Today we are going to discuss about 10 MCQs of fluid mechanics and every day you will get 10 MCQs of different different subjects of chemical engineering like chemical reaction engineering, mass transfer, heat transfer, fluid mechanics, process dynamics and control. So today we are going to discuss about the 10 MCQs. So let's start from our first MCQ. So here is our first question and the first question is the standard fluid for gases to calculate the specific gravity. Here are four options. The first option is chlorine. The second option is oxygen. The third option is air and the fourth option is nitrogen. Please let me in the comments box which answer is right. So before come into the right answer you should have to know about the specific gravity right so specific gravity is the ratio of density of the fluid right given fluid divided by density of the standard fluid right in liquid cases in the case of liquid we use water we use water as a standard fluid in the case of liquid right but what is what if if the fluid is gas so if the fluid will gas then we will use air as a standard fluid right so that is the answer of the standard fluid for gases to calculate the specific gravity now the next question is the operation of rotameter the operation of rotameter is based on variable flow area rotation of a turbine pressure drop across a nozzle and the fourth one is pressure at a stagnant point now guys whenever you are dealing with mcq's questions so first of all you have to see that which option you can eliminate right it is it is an easy method to calculate or to take the right answer or to select the right answer right so what is a rotameter rotameter is a device which is used to calculate the flow rate right it is a flow rate measuring device like as we can say the venturi meter or orifice meter please let me in the comments box what is the working of pitot tube so here you will see that the rotation of a turbine will not be the answer right and the pressure drop across a nozzle okay and the pressure at a stagnant point it will not be the answer the right answer will be variable flow area why because the structure of a rotameter is something like that something like that something like that this and here you will see that the our area of the float changes that's why the variable flow area is a right answer the third one is a gear pump is a type of so first of all Pumps are classified as we can classify pumps as a positive displacement pump and rotodynamic pump, right? So in positive displacement pump, there are two types. Mainly we can classify the first one is reciprocating pump and the second one is a rotary pump. Okay. And in rotary pump, rotary pump may be like vane pump, gear pump, screw pump, right? So what would be the answer? Answer would be the rotary pump as simple as that and gear pump is used to develop a high pressure that's why we use a gear pump the answer will be rotary pump and it will be eliminate as simple as that and it will also eliminate now the fourth question is the coefficient of friction for a laminar flow through a circular pipe is given by here are four options the first option is f is equal to 64 by re b f is equal to 16 by re c f is equal to 0.348 divided by r power 0.8 and the fourth option is none of these so whenever we calculate the f what is f f is a coefficient of friction right so what would be the answer so for a laminar flow the answer would be f is equal to 16 by and re and re is a Reynolds number when when the Reynolds number will be less than 2000 right so when the Reynolds number is less than 2000 it means that it is a 
laminar flow then we use a this formula so answer will be b now the fifth question or fifth question is differential manometers are used to measure the first thing is you should have to know that what is manometers manometers are the device which used to measure the pressure okay now here are differential manometer so whenever we deal with differential manometer so simply we measure the difference in pressure suppose there are two points suppose this point and this point okay suppose this point is a and this point is b so we will measure the difference between pa minus pb and i am assuming that pa the pressure of pa is higher than pressure of pb and it may be like that connected with a pipe so here are four options the first option is difference of pressure head between two pipelines provided they contain same liquid okay it may happen the second is difference of pressure between two pipes okay it it is also the right answer okay the third one is difference of between two points in the same pipeline yes it may be the answer so answer d all of the above would be the right answer right because it is a differential manometer that's why all three condition will be satisfied now the sixth question and the very important question is that a lubricant is 100 times more viscous than water would have a viscosity so we have to find the viscosity here in pascal second right so it is comparing with water so the water viscosity is 1 centipoise 1 centipoise okay i am writing here about the water now just see that if the water viscosity is 1 centipoise so what would be the lubricant viscosity it would be as simple as that the viscosity of lubricant will be 1 into 100 centipoise right so now what we have to do we have to convert this centipoise into the pascal second so what i'll do first we should have to know that one poise is equal to 100 centipoise and as well as one poise is equal to 1 by 10 pascal second right so you can see here one poise first we have to calculate the centipoise so what what i will do here one poise is equal to 1 by 10 pascal second so what it would become it would become 1 by 10 pascal second is equal to 100 centipoise right now here you can see that 1 pascal second would be 1000 centipoise so when i'll solve here so what i'll get here i'll get here simply into 10 to the power minus 3 why because 1 centipoise will be 1 by 1000 pascal second and this answer will be in pascal second please let me in the comments box which option will be right from the four so now now the seventh question is continuity equation is based on the law of okay we have like we have studied this equation in our fluid mechanics as well and in our 11th and 12th class as well so continuity equation okay what is the formula of continuity equation if you know the formula of continuity equation that is a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 okay and is and i can also write that constant if it is flowing from the any pipe so the answer will be conservation of mass not the conservation of energy not the conservation of momentum or not the newton's second law of motion so the continuity equation is based on the conservation of mass now the eighth question is crude oil is a example of here are four option the first option is thixotropic fluid the second option is pseudo plastic fluid the third option is new newtonian fluid and the fourth option is none of these now the first thing is what is newtonian fluid the newtonian fluid is dead fluid 
which follow the Newton's law of viscosity, right? And if I make here one graph, so you can simply understand that. Suppose this is a my shear stress and the graph plot between shear stress and shear strain, right? That is du by dy. So what about the Newton's law of viscosity? I'll tell you later in my upcoming video. So I'll tell you that time what is Newton's law of viscosity. Simply here you can see that if the graph is like that linear, then we can say that this is a Newtonian fluid. Okay. But if this is not a linear, then we will say that it's a non Newtonian fluid. Okay. And if my graph is like that, then this is a pseudo plastic. Okay. Pseudo plastic fluid. Okay. And if I am providing some yield, yield stress to my like fluid and my graph is like looking like that. Okay. And there is one case as well. If I am providing yield stress, okay, and my graph is becoming like that, okay. So this case is known as the thixotropic. This case is known as the thixotropic, and this case is known as the Bingham plastic, right? So the example, the example of thixotropic is crude oil, okay, and the example of Bingham plastic is. Please let me in the comments box that. In which example the toothpaste will come? Okay, this is the theory behind the thixotropic or the crude oil. Why crude oil is thixotropic fluid? The reason is this and this graph. And we will discuss this graph later in a detail. So the ninth question is match the following dimensionless number with appropriate ratio of force dimensionless number. Okay, so here are here are four dimensionless number that the first one is fraud number. The second one is Reynolds number. The third one is friction factor and the fourth one is Nusselt number, right? And here are the fourth ratio and the definition of that four ratio. The first one is shear force to inertia force. The second one is convective heat transfer to conductive heat transfer. The third one is inertia force to viscous force and the fourth one is inertial force to gravitational force. What you have to do? There is no option given from my side. Otherwise, if there will be option, so what you can do if you know the definition of one or two dimensionless number, then you can easily solve this question. How? Look at here. In third option, there is inertia force to viscous force. And we know that inertia force to viscous force is known as the Reynolds number, right? So this one and I can simply write here three. Now, I don't know the shear force to inertia force, but I have studied that convective heat transfer to conductive heat transfer is known as the Nusselt number. Okay. We have solved many questions from this formula to calculate the heat transfer coefficient. So D, I have no that the D would be second. Now we have only two dimensionless number. Now the first one is fraud number and the second one and the C is a friction factor. Now what you have to do? You have to, if there is a options given, so you can simply see that in the option, if three and second, where these are coming. And if you know that which option is right, and if you know the fraud number or friction factor number, if you know that, then that's a good. Otherwise, you can also see that from two of them, if you know the one number, then the answer is finished. Okay. So what is fraud number? Fraud number is the ratio of inertial force to gravitational force is known as the fraud number. Please let me in the comments box. What is the application of fraud number? Like uh, as for Reynolds number, we use Reynolds number to determine or to know the types of law, right? Same in Nusselt number. Nusselt number is used in heat transfer to calculate the heat transfer coefficient. If you know that, what is the application of fraud number? Please let me in the comments box. Okay. So the option of the answer of A will be fourth. Now remain the remaining is the remaining dimensionless number is friction factor. So it would be one. That's all. Now the 10th question, very, very easy. 
डाइन सेकेंड पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर इज द यूनिट ऑफ फोर्स प्रेसर विस्कोसिटी एंड हेड लॉस सो हेड लॉस वुड नॉट बी द आंसर बिकॉज इट्स यूनिट इज इन मीटर नाउ विस्कोसिटी प्रेसर एंड फोर्स वट यू हैव टू डू फर्स्ट यू हैव टू राइट द इट्स एस आई यूनिट द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ फोर्स इज न्यूटन द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ प्रेसर इज न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर एंड द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ विस्कोसिटी इज न्यूटन सेकेंड पर मीटर स्क्वायर राइट सो वट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू सिंपली कन्वर्ट डेट यूनिट इन टू द सी जी एस यूनिट एंड विच आंसर विल कम इक्वल टू दिस वुड बी द राइट आंसर फ्रॉम दीज थ्री ओके सो प्लीज लेट मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स विच आंसर वुड बी द राइट नाउ हेर इज द फाइनल क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल यू हैव रीज हेयर प्लीज लेट मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स विच आंसर फ्रॉम द फोर्थ वुड बी द right answer and this question is very very good question okay why i am giving this question to you it will definitely encourage you to study and definitely try to find the right answer okay because this question is very very fantastic and the question is losses for flow through valves and fittings are expressed in terms of drag coefficient safe factor equivalent length of a straight pipe or roughness factor okay what would be the right answer please let me in the comments box with reason as well okay why like suppose if the answer is drag coefficient then why drag coefficient would be the right answer and why would not be other okay you have to eliminate three answer and then write the one answer okay so this was about the mcqs of fluid mechanics today so if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel and share with your friends as well and if you want any topic of chemical engineering or any particular mcqs from the subjects so please let me in the comments box thank you for watching